हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर रूपाली शेरके वर्किंग एज एन एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स डिपार्टमेंट एट वॉल्चिन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी शोलापुर इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन मूविंग टारगेट इंडिकेटर रडार सस्टेन लर्निंग आउटकम्स आफ्टर कंप्लीशन ऑफ दिस वीडियो लेक्चर स्टूडेंट्स आर एबल टू ड्रॉ एंड एक्सप्लेन a block diagram of moving target indicator radar system also examine the parts and working of each blocks of the mti radar system before starting with the explanation of the radar mti radar system let us recall what is doppler effect which we are discussed in the previous lectures doppler effect when a target is moving relative to the radar it will results in an apparent shift in the carrier frequency this effect is known as a doppler effect carrier frequency is nothing but a transmitting frequency which is transmitted from the radar system towards the target if there is a change in this transmitted frequency that frequency change is given known as a doppler effect when using this doppler effect we can utilize in a pulse radar system by the combination of some special delay line and a new technology or a improved uh, radar system is developed which is known as a mti radar system in which the advantage or a features of the mti radar system is that they can identify the velocity of the target which is moving as well as they are able to distinguish between the stationary target and the moving target let us see this is a block diagram of the mti radar system which is consist of a transmitter and receiver there are different uh, components in this uh, block diagram there are the two oscillator stalo and coherent the stalo stands for a stable local oscillator and coho stands for coherent oscillator the stalo generate a frequency known as f0 and coherent oscillator generate the frequency known as a fc here it is using the two mixers mixer 1 and mixer 2 the characteristics of the mixers are same the mixer 2 is used for the summing the signals and mixer 1 is used for differentiating the signal there are two amplifiers amplifier 1 and amplifier 2 which is are having the same characteristics also it consists of a if amplifier phase detector circuit delay line radar display subtractor circuit castron amplifier duplexer and antenna now let us see how the working of this mti mti radar system takes place the signal generated from the two oscillator that is a stalo and coherent oscillators are given to the as a input to the mixer 2 where it sums the two signals and gives the output as a f0 plus fc this f0 plus fc generated signals will acts as a transmitting signal from the transmitter this is fed to to the multi cavity castron amplifier with this amplifier increase the power strength of the signals to the high power and then it is fed to the duplexer to the antenna the and uh, the signals are then were transmitted into the free space towards the target through this antenna the received echo signals are received in a form of duplexer antenna and then fed to the duplexer to the mixer 1 the function of the mixer 1 is to superheterodyne the received echo signals with the signal generated from the stalo amplifier the mixer 1 differentiates the two signals and 
reduce the output as an FC. The FC is fed again to the IF amplifier which amplifies the received signal. The amplified amplifier output is a FC output which is fed to the phase detector circuit. The one more input to this phase detector is from the current local oscillator. The phase detector output compares the two signals that is received signals and the signals receiving from the coherent oscillator. The coherent oscillator frequency is similar to the IF frequency therefore it is also therefore it is known as a coherent oscillator. The output of the phase detector depends upon the difference of these two frequencies or to these signals. When the all the received signals the detector circuit will uh, use the signals or gives the output depending upon the changing of this received signal and the input signal. The output of the phase detector gives the output in a form of change in the amp uh, phase as well as a change in the amplitude. The change both fixed as well as a moving target. If it is output of the fixed target then there is a no change in the phase and the amplitude of the signal while as if it is the output of the received echo signal then uh, or a received moving signals then there is a change in the frequency that frequency change is due to the Doppler effect that Doppler frequency change will change the change in the amplitude as well as a phase of the signal compared with the transmitted signals and the shift in the frequency uh, is is of a half of the wavelength of, uh, the, uh, is a circuit whose time duration is related to the PRF that is pulse repetitive frequency which is a width of the pulse which depends upon the width of the pulse and that duration delay is being placed. The output of the phase detector depending upon the change in the phase are fed to the delay line circuit. Uh, the output of the phase detector is fed from the delay line to the amplifier 1 and then to the subtractor circuit and similarly at the same time a undelayed output is fed to the amplifier 2 and then it is also connected to the subtractor circuit. The output of the subtractor circuit compares the two input signal. If you let us ex uh, explain this for the uh, fix as well as for the moving target. Now, uh, if you see the signals of the waveforms, this is a waveforms which is a with this ampli with on the y axis it is representing the amplitude on on the x axis it is representing the time duration the pulses which are been fed are the transmitted pulses now uh, the pulses indicated by the numbers 1 and 2 are this are due to the fix uh, fix uh, target mm, therefore when these two signals are fed to the subtractor circuit, the output of the subtractors will cancel out because uh, they give the same input to the subtractors and with the same duration of time and therefore they get cancel out at the subtractor circuit. This indicate that these two pulses are received from the uh, fixed target. Further. If we observe that the pulses received from the at of 3 and 5 are delayed by the 4 at the delayed by delayed by the delayed line at a 4 and 6 respectively, there is a delay in the signal. When that two signals are fed to the 
subtractor circuit the output of the subtractor circuit will be in the change in the phase which indicate that this received signal is from the moving target indicator this uh, this effect now uh, uh, output of the subtractor circuit is then fed to the radar display circuit now if we see that we are already discussed with the continuous radar systems and the moving target indicator which both are working on the principle of the doppler effect think for pause the video think for a while what is the difference between the continuous radar systems and the mti radar system these are the reference book thank you